you away. Just push go live. It's still five o'clock. It's five. We can just push it. We can just hit go live. Belly All right. I don't know where to find out. It's running an ad. This is exciting. I could skip my own ad, but I feel like I shouldn't do that. You give yourself like two cents. Yeah. I guess I should make this live, huh? Yeah. My plan is to. Uh, Whoa! Whoa! We gotta adjust those audio levels over there in OBS. Oh my goodness! All right, hold up. Um, yeah, it's definitely yeah, it's definitely got a got Nick in there. They can hear Nick. All right, what's up? What's up? What up, guys? Um, I can't see my own chat because YouTube wants me to download Coinbase apparently. Jokes on you, YouTube. I'm already there. Um, I don't know if it's fixed. Why can't I view my own chat? This is frustrating. Oh, we probably want to. Uh, What's up, stream? We're trying a lot of new technology right now. We're actually using an EOS uh, Mark II, an EOS 6 Mark II. Um, as our webcam right now, we're trying to give you better audio quality. We're trying to give you better visual quality than back when we did. You know, some of the other stuff, but uh, found it. Found a live chat. All right, good. I'm good, but a little bit deafened. Um, mic is crap. Uh, True. Okay, so we've turned down the, the mic. Um, well, everything's like super delayed. So they I just keep saying good. ears are bleeding. <laughs> but uh, found it. Found a live chat. All right, good. Oh, it's definitely still live. We definitely need to... I need to tune it down just a little bit more. Just just negative 13 decibels. Just you take me down to negative 18, boys. It's a great mic. I mean, this is a high-quality microphone, which is why it's so loud for you guys. People are so mean. They started off with, your mic is garbage. Like, um, we're using a really nice microphone. It's just too nice. Um, still fuzzy. What's up? Feeling fuzzy. Um... Was that Pete Fuzzy Pete? Or just somebody could buy Sheer Ink? It doesn't sound great. Oh, goodness, it's still not good. Nope. <laughs> Apparently, it's not good. I mean, we could try and swap to a different mic. I don't know if that's I, mean, I could use the Yeti, but then I'd be yelling. Like. Well, it's okay now. We could just move this beautiful. Don't move that. If you move it, it'll break. It's very dangerous. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, ban the Waffler. Fix this necessarily. Live tech demos. Wait. What if I what if I talk? No. no. <laughs> Can you set your mic across so it's not as sensitive? I could put the mic on the table. That's what people are saying. And I'm leaving it up here. EOC is the uh, he's he's editing in real time, boys. What would we do without him? The hero of our stream. The captain of our team. This doesn't really work like this. I've got kind of a tinniness roboticism to my voice I right now. Either. Just open the stinking box, man. Some of us have places to go. <laughs> Yo, this is this is the performance. The you know, I mean I have I've had to wait. Oh maybe it's um Oh, which setting? Maybe it's on YouTube. <laughs> that would be Garbo. Um, I've had to wait hours to open the box. You're not going to let me plug my stuff, say my things. You let Kanye rant for 20 minutes before he starts his concert, but I can't have five. Um, give me the Roblox blasters, Hasbro. That's funny. Uh, Little Fraser says, Mike gain is way too high. Is this Asmar? Um, <laughs> not with this mic. A dude just donated two dollars to call my mic garbage. <laughs> Turn the game down. I'll set it. Yeah, I'll set the microphone over here and see if that makes it better. But I have to clip it to this pocket knife so that it doesn't fall off. I don't know if that's right. Nothing I'm doing is legit right now. Is that better? Sounds like thing? Darth Vader. True. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nobody's father. Um, How is that? 
Wait, did it just get rid of all the filters? This guy just donated five dollars to tell me my mic is peaking. Attach it lower on your shirt, or maybe adjust the gain. EOC's adjusting the gain live. You guys are princes. Thanks for all the help. Um, I need your opinion. I want to paint my strife Boba Fett style, but I don't know if I should go dark green for End War or Ahsoka style. Wait, they say it's better now. Yeah, because I clipped it to a knife and set it on the table. Or something you changed. Who cares? It's good. It's good. Um, is this finally Apex Legends Blasters? It's not. <laughs> Bad microphone, the experience. Yo, shout out to the two Gs who donated fibers um, to help me fix my microphone that's better it's not perfect but better um well supposedly it sound. works now now the volume is too low Yo, they say a full on turn it up a little bit. <laughs> oh just a smidge just a smidge oh well, all right we'll try that i need more cheese less macaroni <laughs> i doubt anybody's gonna get that reference it says it's 10 percent this game oh, <laughs> no comment comment bad, down, comment bad man Comment down below if you get the reference. You guys are redonkulous. The microphone is beautiful, a bit louder. Zachary Johnson, it seems like it's just this is the thing. I don't know who that is. There's like so many people who have donated five dollars to comment. And this Zachary says Jack sounded like a 2008 Xbox 360 True. seconds ago. Um, jokes aside, the content first stream for me. Yo, welcome to the stream, guys. Um, Michael Jordan, <laughs> basketball legend, says, It's true, your undead voice just sneaking through in the There's a lot of disguise. people who say, Lick the box. I'm not licking. <laughs> no, I can't. Do it. I can't do it. I don't know where it's been. I actually do know where it's been. All right, guys, so I want to I wanna provide some background. I want to thank you all for your donations. And they say that I sound better than you. At this point, they're just giving me donations to buy a better laptop. I can't hear the thing, so I don't know it's like good. This is, this is the new meme. You start a live stream for your audience with garbage equipment and then beg them to buy you new equipment. True. <sighs> guys i don't deserve you all thank you thank you for all the donors i'm not licking the box i'm not doing it um I, so i want to explain a few things uh, i'm happy to do a q a i don't get these live opportunities with you guys very often i'm live almost every night on twitch but like literally if you ever want more facetime with me just follow me on twitch i'm not even pandering i only get like 25 viewers a night on twitch so I know all of their names, their problems, their siblings. Like, it's a lot of fun. Um, but it's a really, really great way to hang out with one another and, you know, get to know the stream a little bit better. Uh, a lot of you guys are, are YouTube guys, and it's just pretty sweet. Uh, it's Nader Foxy says, hey, Drac, do you have Apex on Steam yet? <laughs> I haven't added Apex on Steam. I don't. So the mic is definitely in the box. <laughs> I didn't know. We need to change the title of the stream. The title of the stream needs to be Mic Chat. Um, I think technically. Guys, I'm, uh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm so sorry. Uh, anyway, um, real G's I don't know if it's Twitch. working or not. The microphone, I can't hear it. So I don't Bro, know. the trick shots you do. People are, man, everybody's so mad. <laughs> They're mad that the mic sucks. You know my Twitch since when this guy said that? They're mad that the mic's garbage, and then they're mad that the box isn't open yet. Guys, they're mad that you haven't licked it yet. I don't want to lick the box. <laughs> the box does not look tasty to me. The box is like some sort of Chinese. It's not even a you know a proper box. It's not a pelican. It's an SKB K series. <laughs> this guy's moved on. He's advanced. He says you should eat the box. It does say I can't eat this. It's not edible. It's got metal reinforcements all over it. It does say made in the USA, so it's this probably gave me five dollars for a new mic. It's probably safe. This <laughs> you donated eight dollars. You guys are. <laughs> I'm gonna buy the world's sickest microphone for you guys. This is the same microphone I use for my content. Well, like, we didn't test it at all. We just <laughs> yeah, we have, we have no settings, I guess. Also, I can't hear it, so I don't know if it's if it's getting better. Give me a microphone. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Headphones, so I can listen. All right. Um. 
It's like the adult in Charlie Brown. I can't deal with it. <laughs> Fine. You just don't deserve the box. The box. <laughs> Talk about the box later. Do a box later. You wounded me, my audience. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we throw in boxes in the <laughs> it's, it's, it's a dog watering time. It's not the box. I don't know what snopping is. I don't know either. This dude, Socks just donated $2 for a timeout. Socks, I'm not going to time you out for giving me money. I'm not an idiot. Thank you. A box full of your real filming equipment. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> hey guys, here's a garbage live stream. What's in the box? <laughs> it's better live stream equipment. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who oh <laughs> says I win before? What's in the box? Is a new mic. Oh, wait, I need to go to you. Uh, somebody says he's getting tired. Okay, so I want to explain the box. I'm gonna actually explain the box to you guys. If you let me explain the box without roasting me for 10 seconds. Um, hopefully it won't be a level five biohazard. All right, so this box was sent to me by uh, my buddy Lucian. Um, we all call him Lucy in the NIC. Uh, does the box have the undead heart or the real filming equipment? You're a prince. You're a prince and I don't deserve you, Michael Jordan. Um, Okay, so here's the deal. The box comes to us from Lucian Shapar. Uh, if you if you've ever heard of Lucian or Lucy, he's like old blood NIC. I've met him at APOC. We run to wars together. He uh, he does some really cool stuff. In I'm not going to tell you specifically what his profession is, but let's just say that Lucian has access to some of the most uh, expensive um, and high resolution 3D printing machines um, that you can get commercially. Like, are they full on? You know, like industry grade we printed a car uh no but they're like as far as like the line between professional and hobbyist lucian really rides that line so he's done a lot of really cool work with uh with mark forged and form labs he's done a lot of stuff with resin and stuff like that uh lucian and i have been talking about products and product design and working on some stuff for foam pro shop uh and i do really appreciate all these donations because i don't have to ship anything uh, but if you'd ever like to support my craft and get something of your own, um, like in your hands tangibly that you can enjoy from the, uh, I'm not going to lick the box. Why do people want me to lick the box? The box has like a chalky finish on it. You would get particles off of this thing. It would be bad. Um, so where was I? Talking about Lucian. Um, and then, so we've been working together on stuff for the Foam Pro Shop. Lucian was really important. Uh, in collaborating with Roboman, which is another old school NIC name, uh, working on the Ethereum triggers. These are metal triggers for the Nexus Pro. If you've been watching my content for a while, the prototype has just been hanging out in my tester uh, Nexus Pro for like a while now, and it's it's super great. It's got a really nice response, and I like uh, I like metal triggers, and I cannot lie. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know that they come from the one and only Roboman Automation because they're in heat sealed bags. Ooh, so professional. Um, this one's actually part of a bundle on the site right now. I did a, a one-off on the site right now, if anybody's interested. This is a kit. It's uh, the only time I've ever done these parts in Voodoo Gray. Voodoo Gray. Uh, in Wizard's Voodoo, which is a vertigo kind of transparent, uh, trans sparkle filament that uh that filamentum does at first we thought it was going to be limited edition but it's not uh so i did a hex grip a full set of releases equinox sites a caduceus and our scar and muzzle combo normally we only do these in our exclusive orange uh for safety but i figure if you're willing to uh shell out for a custom uh set of these guys over at foamprochop.com you're uh you're welcome to do so uh and i trust you to have a purpley purple grip um but these are really cool. This is just something that's on the site uh, and lets me talk about the trigger and some of the stuff that Roboman and I have been working on and we've got more stuff in the pipes. Um, we just listed a bunch of new t-shirts. I want to sneak preview those. I also want to tell you that uh, 
This guy wants me to know. Garrett says he's making Mortal Kombat Baraka Blades. I hope you make a video about him, dude. That sounds cool. Um, and so we've got... Now they're saying, eat it, you baby. Why won't you eat the box? What is wrong with my audience? Clowny says it's Valentine's Day and you should lick the box. It's not Valentine's Day and the box has a chalky powder on it. Um... Anyway, we just listed this. Uh, oh, this I'm is, fixing it. This is a magical ermine uh, patch. This is a. This one's pretty spicy. This one's a little political. Um, but this patch is live. We just made this morale patch. It's a soup extra heavy, and then for my family on it, which is pretty good. Uh, we also did some light adjustments to the old Campbell's logo. Got to pick one up, check it out, and then this one. Uh, this one like is is a little a little spicy, but we've done a we've done a couple of like Hasbro meme patches, and uh, just in case you're still hanging on for Boomco or whatever, we thought that this would be funny. Uh, somebody send one to Boomtendo. That would be that would actually be a disaster. I think you'd be really mad. Um, so we just made patches. We've got some new T-shirt uh, T-shirts on the site, and that's where we're selling the Ethereum triggers. But now I can tell you the story of the box and hopefully not sound like a robot while doing it. Um, All right, I'm pretty sure I fixed the audio, so... Thanks, buddy. Um, if you're not going to lick the box, you have to open it. It's got a chalky powder on it. Um, it does. It does have a chalky powder on it because it's brand new. So, uh, Lucia just did this. He sent it out of nowhere. I don't know what's in it. And his only requirement for this, he says it's a gift, and his requirement was, I had to open it on camera live. He wanted to be able to watch my reaction, and in an increasingly pandemic world, it's not like, you know, he could come down or I could come to him uh, for whatever this is. Somebody just did another donate message, and I guess I missed it. Um, somebody also, uh, if you wanted the special Wizards Voodoo thing, it's gone. Somebody bought it. Okay, somebody, I will compromise. I will smell the box for you. Yeah, it smells like plastic. I'm pretty familiar with what plastic smells like, but that's, it smells like a light vinyl kind of plastic. Um, is it a new pet bat? I sure hope not, because I'm pretty sure this is a waterproof case. Um, if, if there's a dead bat in the case, I'm going to be a little upset at Lucian. So anyway, it looks like somebody, I don't know if it was a Lucian or Roboman or a... Either of their wonderful girlfriends painted my logo on here. We actually just did a logo refresh for the first time in like 10 years. Uh, fun fact, my original logo here, this one was designed by uh, the, uh, the wonderful guys over at Containment Crew. Um, but we have a new one now. Nobody told Lucian. So without any more further ado, no licking it, no like eating it, which isn't even possible. Uh, we are going to, assuming this is visible on camera, we're gonna open the box. Uh, Lucian, I hope you're watching. I'm very excited. I did take it out of the packaging material, but I have not opened it, mostly because my employees have kept me honest in that regard. I didn't really wanna open it. I thought I could hide it in my office. Nope, nope, nope. This guy says drink the box. Pat, go get me a blender. <laughs> the only way. Oh, Will it blend box edition? Um, okay. There's one, two, and everybody's going to leave after this, so i got to really milk the moment for all it's worth. There's 700 of you. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to hang out later on Twitch, I'd be super stoked for that. But right now, it's box payoff time. Oh. Oh, my. I knew Lucian was doing something like this, but I did not know that there would just be one. Can you guys see this? This is pretty awesome. Uh, so I can tell you what this is, but I really want to, I'm going to pull it out, I'm going to assemble it, and then I'm going to talk about what it is. Somebody in chat's probably already going to be like, it's just a talon claw, but it is not. Um, it is way more. Way, way more. Whoa! Oh! That's got to also be... Okay, that's really cool. I wish Lucian was in chat so I could ask him just one question about this, but I am very excited to get it uh, put together. And just tried to escape on me. And then you've got a tiny nut captured by a... Okay, I got it. I got it. Lucian, I have caliber hardware. Um, 
this is this is spicy the box kind of doubled as a carrying case which is gonna be really good i'm really only gonna assemble this temporary oh do you want to say hello come here she says hello stream i don't get enough attention on twitch dur, 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 dur. It's Jinx. She's the world's sleepiest dog. Go. Is in the chat. He knows. He knows. He is in. So help him notice me. All right. So, um, Lucian, I'm gonna make some guesses here, and I am very excited to to mate these together. But my guess is that this is Nylon 12 SLS, right? You SLS this, um, which is what does SLS stand for? It's selective laser centering, I think. Um, and then it appears that he's got some sort of custom form labs resin for the top here. Um, but this is, I almost don't know how to express to you guys how this feels. White dog girl. Uh, she is a girl. Yes. Jinx is a girl. Um, hello spectrum from America. Damn, that's a good fit. I mean, dang, dang, that's a good fit. I would never say bad words, not on my good Christian Minecraft channel. It says it's PA-12, I don't know what that means. It's PA-12? So is that also a nylon composite? I don't think it's polyamine. Yeah. <clears throat> Out of darts it's is a in super cruiser. Apparently. I see. The PA-12. <laughs> ah, the Warplane. You didn't have to make it out of that. What up, Luke? Good to see you, buddy. Holly me 12. Hmm. Okay, so... I think it is some kind of nylon. It seems like it's a nylon composite. Right now, guys, I'm fiddling with no tool uh, to get this one nut on top. I should have said that it is some kind of nylon. So essentially what this is, is it's a powder that sits in a matrix and a laser hardens the powder throughout oh, the matrix. Yeah, Luke's in chat. Um, and what's the difference between a Calibern and a Talonclaw? Overall length, more than anything, it's just the uh, overall length of the blaster. There we go. I finally got the nut lined up. Story of my life, stream. Um... Okay, and we'll just cinch that down there. If you've ever been on Twitch, I can't resist the easy jokes, the low-hanging fruits. Um, all right, so um, this is some sort of SLS nylon composite, but it's so much more than that because uh, I know that the nylon that they use comes out kind of gray, and it would appear that Lucian has found some way to dye this burgundy. Uh, so this is a dark burgundy Talonclaw and... Uh, I don't have anything metal to ting against it. Kinda. But it's got a, a very different sort of tactile feel to it. Uh, all of the parts are that consistency. It has this, like, really gorgeous kind of weathering from however he stained or dyed the nylon. And I imagine that it's just some sort of vinyl dye sort of thing because that would just drink the, uh... The, the nylon would drink vinyl dye, I imagine. But... Like I said, there's so much more going on here, and I really want to thank him for all of the little details. This is metric hardware, and in the back here, you can see that there's two pins uh, holding that on, which means that this is going to be a very straight shooter. Uh, the barrel's in there. Ooh, it's got a custom nylon pusher, so it's not a machined one. Uh, it's also nylon. These are carbon fiber rails instead of the usual rubber that Slug kind of caps them with uh, over the metal threaded rods. And then this... This has got to be Roboman's doing. I'm going to call him out on it. Uh, but this appears to be powder-coated rails on the side. Uh, so there's very little on this that isn't like mega, mega levels of sexy. The SLS plunger reminds me a little bit of uh, kind of tooth and nail because obviously it's going to be much, much stronger than PLA. It's going to have higher torsion strength, but torsion strength and resistance to heat. But also, it uh, it should it should be capable of handling... Um, or not handling it should move a little bit faster through the plunger because it's not as heavy as aluminum uh i don't know where lucian got this grip but this grip is beautiful with the uh the hex pattern 
Lucy, can I have this file? I want to sell the script. I like this a lot. Is it legal for you to sell me this file? Um, Lucian says, don't forget to mention it's a one-piece monolithic front. Holy crap! There's no seam. There's no seam. Look at this. This is all one, one piece. The coupler seats directly in. This is all one piece. Mm -hmm. The lower and upper together it's are... Super out of focus, by the way. Is it really? Yeah. How do I get it to focus? I don't know. It doesn't like the other stuff. There we go. That should do it, right? Well, maybe it's here. This is yeah. There. I mean, this is all one bit. No seam here. And the upper assembly here goes into one. And it goes into here. And it looks like Lucian had to make custom shims here uh, in the front for uh to cinch the barrel on because it's all one piece and it's nylon i mean this is this is sharp this is sharp i gotta put equinox sights on it um i wish he'd tell me this is like uh here wait is this some sort of dye that you put in a tough resin it seems like it would be durable maybe you dyed durable resin um this is really cool, guys. This is very, very cool. If you haven't gotten the chance to play with form machines, I have to assume that this was printed on a fuse. Um, and... Uh oh, that's sharp. That's sharp. I don't need any talent claws anymore. I have so many cool ones planned. I just did one out of a uh, Mark Forged Onyx, which is also a nylon composite, uh, but it's a nylon and chopped carbon fiber composite. Uh, but one thing that you can't really appreciate... Uh, through the camera he did a lot of custom here i've never seen this plate back here either um it's light it weighs less than pla a pla blaster like this would weigh significantly uh more probably about like i don't know like a quarter quarter a third a third lighter than it should be i'm gonna go ahead and say that it's it's about that that much lighter this is awesome um, that's because we banned dumb people saying lick it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lick it. It's clearly like it's a nylon composite covered in some sort of dye. How will you know how it tastes though? What's wrong with you people? <laughs> you can't just run around putting custom things that come out of machinery in your mouth. You will die. Like just because they call them chips doesn't mean you can eat them. No one salts aluminum bits. He said before putting aluminum in his mouth. Um, well, you can't win all of them, chat. Um, stop, lol. He's not gonna lick it. I did smell it. That's how I thought that this is, uh, I think that this is durable. Because it smells like durable. Um, nylon PA12 is food safe, lol. Oh, he says it's food safe? He says it's food safe. Luchin, is the dye that you put on it food safe, or is it the kind of thing that, like, you redo grandma's mercury? Well, he said it's fabric dye, so probably not. Nobody should lick fabric dye. This is like if you inherit a grand marquee from the 90s and you want it to have a different color interior. How can I make it clear? Here, I've got one of the Ethereum triggers, actually. I just want you guys to listen. As opposed to like plastic, it's a very different. It's just kind of cool. It's kind of neat. Sniff, sniff. Uh, are you streaming on Twitch? And if so, at what time? I usually start at 10 p.m. Uh, what was the lightsaber on the wall in some of your vids? I have a YouTube channel where I review lightsabers and it looks cool. I have a friend who's really into lightsabers. I don't think it's on the wall anymore, but it's a custom Luke saber. Uh, that was originally supposed to have a um what are the special blades called uh it had a special blade but it was the wrong chuck size for the special blade so i made a custom blade for it and now it's a glorified flashlight um good eye definitely a, a funky piece pretty unique um my senior designer has a pair of the deluxe ashoka uh, uh, ahsoka tano sabers and they're really cool as well we're gonna make guts for them i'll give you this and a Maverick to trade me for the blaster. $5 and a Maverick. I'm going to have to politely decline. You know, all refund requests can be submitted through my agent. Um, on behalf of all the goons in this chat, I'm so sorry. YouTube viewers can be annoying. Um, 
so this is part of what I love about Twitch is that my Twitch fam is just so tight. Uh, they're really, really strong. Um, but I, uh, I love you guys too. We wouldn't be here without you guys. So blaster looking at all. Thanks so much for being here. Um, he's going to do one for a charity auction. Okay. Um, so Lucy says that if you do want to get your hands on one of these, he's going to charity auction one off. Uh, in the near future. It might not be Burgundy, uh, but maybe it will be. And I mean, truly, like, this is this is a very unique, very special piece. Nobody's running around with a fuse and the ability to print, you know, a monolithic upper. I can't think of anybody else who would take the time to do carbon fiber rods and metric hardware and custom priming bars and, 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 and. Like, there's just a lot of really cool stuff going on here. So I definitely... Uh, if this is the kind of thing that you're looking at and you're like, that's the level of custom that I need to get, um, I'd be on the lookout for that charity stream. Obviously, uh, Lucian's going to pick a good cause and, uh, you'll be able to get something just as nice as this one. But this is tight. This is probably the world's most solid talon claw without a doubt. And I think, um, for me at least being burgundy and black, uh, and carbon fiber all over, uh, this is definitely my new favorite. Uh, printed blaster to run around and rock. I still like injection molded blasters, particularly with metal bits in them, but this is hot. This is on a completely different level. Um, I'm trying to think. I want to say that a full fuse setup, like just because I know that, you know, with 500 viewers, a lot of people aren't going to fully understand or appreciate like what SLS is, uh, how it works, how, you know, incredible that technology is and how new it is. Uh, but one thing that you will understand is that the machine uh, that Lucian probably, I'm assuming he did it on a fuse, um, the machine that Lucian used to build this costs more than, like, a car. Um, like most cars. Like, like 78% of all cars sold, probably. It's a very, it's a very preci uh, precise, very expensive machine. It's probably not easy to run. Uh, the materials are only recyclable, like, 50%, I think. We've been looking at one, because I really want to do some prop work with one. I'd like to make Zagreus' sword from Hades. Uh, and it's not big enough to do the whole thing in one swipe, but it's pretty, pretty cool. I'm also interested in the Creality belt uh, printer, but that's, like, you know, a $400 piece of garbage that happens to have a belt attached to it. Uh, whereas this um, came off of something that you could make, you know, jigs for CNC, uh, Lucian, what's the primary purpose of the fuse other than like, you know, what if you wanted custom bike pedals or prosthetics, um, like rapid prototyping? Is it just really for anything that you want? Um, man, the prime is so smooth. I gotta get some of these carbon fiber rods. They remind me of like arrow shafts. They might be arrow shafts, but never cut an arrow shaft with a Dremel. You will get carbon fiber garbage all over you. This is so nice. That was good. That was good. I barely, uh, this thing is sharp. What's the FPS on this? Did you crony it, Lucy? Because it, it sounds, it sounds hot. Uh, it sounds like it's probably doing like 230, 240, which is pretty fast for a, uh, for a talent call. Um, He'll definitely make a video on it. I'm going to make a video on it, and I'll probably print everything <laughs> using end-use parts. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'll probably make a video on this formally on the channel. I'm going to leave this live stream up. But I'm going to take some time, familiarize myself with it, kind of get my, my brain wrapped around everything that went into it, ask Lucian some very specific questions, and then I'll probably make a video uh, that not only will kind of explain what makes this special, I also want to plug Lucian's Charity Blaster, in that video because I really really want to say thank you to him and on some small level help him do something cool and uh, and good um, and then most importantly I want to send it to form labs and just be like hey to toy blaster P pretty cool right toy blaster maybe loan me a little bit of machine time every once in a while fuse because um, I can think of some awesome awesome stuff to do with this uh, raisin chat Ray don't you have a wedding to be getting ready for my guy in this chat, people who don't own chronographs, it's true. Um, at least 170, at least 200. It is a K26 Talon Claw, which means that it should shoot 200, but it sounds like by virtue of some of the stuff that's been done to it, and perhaps the lighter plunger, it's got a little bit more oomph on it. Uh, 
Joshua says, we did an SLS custom heat exchanger for a network stack case here at my work. SLS really made it super easy and required no welding or lengthy machining process. See, like, a few projects like that and, uh, and technology like this can really pay for itself. If you're paying for tooling, um, either for molds or for, like, CNC, um, and you're doing that out, like, of your department, uh, this would pay for itself very, very quickly. So... Uh, it's the kind of toy that isn't really a toy. You just have to have the right projects and the right work, uh, to make it a viable option. It's an awesome, awesome machine. Something that's hard to appreciate is that there is no, uh, there are no layer lines on this. Uh, I know that the, uh, the SLS process gets down to like a hundred microns, right? Which is very similar to the forms, uh, which do resin, but like we're talking microns of precisions as opposed to millimeters of precision, which is what your average, uh, your average FDM or, you know, spaghetti. Uh, how do you explain FDM to people who don't 3D print? It's the one where it shoots the hot plastic spaghetti and you hope the shape is right. It's a fancy hot glue gun. Yeah, a big old fancy hot glue gun for plastic that happens to be made out of corn. Um, the corn plastic spaghetti monster. It's a good band name. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll see a lot of you guys over on Twitch tonight at 10 p.m. My Twitch is linked in the description box down below. Uh, you can uh, throw me a follow and then you should get a notification. Uh, Lucian, dude, dude, but dude, this thing is hot. Uh, Lucian's become a very uh, interesting collaborator and resource in the last year. Uh, the pandemic's only made that more important. Um, and I think that, you know, he has a long, long future as a collaborator over at Foam Pro Shop from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for this thing. This thing is awesome. Uh, I hope, I hope that we, uh, we have some events this year where I can use it, uh, to compete. And I do really appreciate this. This part's almost as special. Like you found a translucent orange dye for resin, which is pretty hot. Um, name the blaster that. I don't know what to name the blaster. It says 151 on it. I don't get it. Is that like your favorite Pokemon? Um, I don't understand. Uh, maybe Lucian will sign some light on that, but, uh, I'm hoping to see some of you guys over on Twitch tonight. Again, we just launched a bunch of new apparel on foamproshop.com, including, um, meme patches. Again, we've got soup, totally not Mattel's logo, and a, uh, a magical ermine patch, world's best wingman. Uh, we also have metal triggers for the uh, the Nexus Pro. We've got the Ethereum triggers. Those are pretty spicy. Um, we're about to put these up on the site, although we have not yet. And they're uh, spooky, eerie, similar to what Lucian has developed in here. Of course, his is SLS. Um, but for the Aeon and the Nexus, uh, we've developed uh, pushers uh, that allow you to take the mag in and out while the blaster is uh, breech closed. Um, I'm pretty sure we have to, like... Uh, put something about some crazy New York nerfer in there, but we won't because yeah, we might call it the angel pusher because we've been doing it for years. Um, but, uh, Bacardi, somebody says Bacardi. Yeah. The patches are super affordable over on phone pro shop. I do want to leave you guys with this. Uh, and this is going to be kind of like my sign off here on this live video. Cause I think that you really like, Whoa, I haven't, I haven't shown this to anyone yet. And I, uh, I want you guys to be the first, my YouTube audience that sat through the, uh, the what's in the box stream. So this is, uh, is pretty special and it is the beginning of something. Oh man. Did I not take all the support material out? No, I'm just going backwards. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to do something pretty special. Pretty cool. Also, this is more filamentum, just for the record. This is the new Vertigo Cherry filament, and I really like it, because in a world where you have to have layer lines, why not make them sparkle just a little bit? Uh, so that's a sneak preview of something very exciting happening this year uh, over at foamproshop.com. This is a very exciting gift from Lucian. I can't say thank you enough, and I look forward to making a full video for you. I'm probably gonna leave this live stream up. I've never gotten the opportunity to do that before because they've either been very long uh, or they've had super duper technical difficulties. And even though this one had some technical difficulties, I, uh, I think that we got it straightened out. So uh, pretty excited about that. Um, go to Ray's for dinner. I, I can't. I'm working for the next four hours and then I'm... <laughs>
then I'm gonna <laughs> spam just gave me money to go to Ray's for dinner. I can't do that. I can't. Um, Ray could come here if he wants. Ray could come here for dinner, but I gotta I gotta work for the next few hours, um, and then I have to stream at ten. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, much love. Blast on, Drac out. What do you want me to end it? Well, now I guess I have to say that. Yeah, oh please end it. Goodness. Thank you. Ah.